Hello my dear friends, welcome to Photon Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I am going to tell you how to create app workspace collaboration in Power BI service. Now let's go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. In this video we will tell you mainly two things. In the first point we will explore the dimension and tell you how to collaborate in Power BI service and secondly we will tell you how to make app workspace collaboration in Power BI service. Now let's go further and talk about the collaboration and why do we need it. For an example if you use Power BI service you must have used Power BI desktop in which you have generated your data set and report. Then that you shared it in Power BI service which you have created a dashboard out of those data set and report and you have make certain amendment in your report also. So after there is certain things you have done with your data you reminded and you thought of sharing it with friend that means you want certain other person to make amendment in your data that means you shared it with some guy from the IT department and you want to collaborate and want the other person to work on your report like you have created a data set and you want the IT guy to work on reports that guy will use Power BI service and make amendment in your data and that lead to app workspace and for example and that to be done require an app workspace that means in power bi service you will create a workspace that allows the other person to be interacted in your data set and report then only it is feasible for other person to have a certain interaction in your data set and report and will make amendment in your dashboard and everything which you require to share it with him so this is all the things that we require to learn about the collaboration. Now let's go to the Power BI service and see how does we create a collaboration. Now we are in Power BI service in Microsoft Edge internet browser. That means this is a Power BI service landing page look like. And if you want to know more about the Power BI service interface interaction you can go to my previous video and see how does it work. Now let's get back to the question of this video about creating a workspace in which you can collaborate with your person or which you want to acquaint with your data set and report. Now first of all we will look into my workspace. Now this is my workspace in which I have dashboard reports workbooks and data set so this is a personal place where i have interacted with my data set and report which i have produced in power bi desktop now i require it collaborate with certain other person then i will go in my workspaces you can see i already have other workspace that is flag if i click on it you will see certainly i have another workspace that is certain other place that is flag if i go into it you will see dashboard reports workbook data set and data all are available in here which are vacant but if you go in my workspace it is not vacant because i worked in certain things that is for personal myself but i haven't shared it first of all before going any further or working in my workspace that i have created which is flag i will tell you how to create one apart from this thing so for that you just have to create a workspace you have to click on it and this is just a simple thing you write a name in here so you have to just give a general brief description about your name and after that you can describe what you want to work in here with after that save it but this is a new interaction that create a workspace gives you when you revert to classic you have certainly more other options like if i give a workspace flag you will see not available please edit it because i have already created a workspace that is flag and after that you will give a privacy options in which you can 
certainly make it a private only approved member can see what's inside or you can go for the public anyone can see what's inside so certainly i want to go with private after that you have an other option that is member can edit power bi content or not these are the options that you acquaint yourself with because only you know you want other person to add it or not or if you want other person to only see your reports and comment on it then you will go with other option that members can only view power bi content i want other person to have the power of being able to add it in my reports and data set after that you just have to write an email address of the other person you want to add in your workspace so certainly after the privacy option i will go into another option add workspace members so this one is critical that means in this you will write an email address of all those person who want to collaborate with you and who want you to collaborate with them that means if you want your data set and report to be collaborate or shared with other person whom you want to work with you have to type that email address of that person in my case i will write sunny at fortran.com that means i have wrote the workspace member after that i click on add now you will see the member has been added now if you want to change the description of that person you can either give him as a power of admin or member also and if you want to delete you can directly click on delete after that you can click on cancel like i've already made the workspace i do not require to make new now if you want to make any more changes in your workspace you can directly go the workspace that you have created in our case i have already created flag workspace in my past and in here you will see three dots i will click on it you will see files members calendar conversation view workspace leave workspace i don't want to leave or view workspace if i want to see all the members that i have in my workspace i will directly click on it it will take me to the outlook now you will see all the members that are available in my workspace so it will take a few seconds to do that after that you will see it's a private group of four members so this is how you will see how you collaborate with certain other person and if you want to add certain things in flag just click on it after that go into file section just click on get it will take a few seconds after that you can go to local file whichever database you want to you will be in this open dialog box that you require to feed the data with so i want a project population data to be imported in our flag workspace so i will click on open so it is importing the project that i have created for the population so it will take a few seconds to import the data from my local computer to the workspace that i have made for collaboration so now you will see your data set is ready now you can see view data set in our case i will directly go in the flag section you will see the data set in here reports in here like these are the all reports that i've created in my project so after that if you go into dashboard you will also see the dashboard but it's certainly vacant because i haven't pinned anything for to make it fast we will pin certain thing internally pin something on our dashboard directly so we will pin this thing so i will directly click on pin visual after that it will ask you to uh, would you like to pin the same existing dashboard or new dashboard i want to go with the existing dashboard after that i will click on pin and you certainly click from go to dashboard now you will see the visualization in here which is in dashboard in a place which is a workspace that you have created for collaboration and this is how you create a app workspace for collaboration so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video has been any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day